Sludge oil is a common name for waste oil that mainly comes from purifying fuel oils and lubricating oils to ensure the safe operation of ship's machinery. In the purifying process, water is used and mixed with the waste oil. The bigger the machinery, the more the fuel and oil has to be purified and hence the quantities of waste oil will increase. Average sludge oil content in bunkered fuel is today 1-2%. This means 500 tonnes of fuel will generate at least 10 cubic metres of sludge oil, plus the water used in the purifying process. Sludge Boy is a new product and standard coming out to ships. It enables pumping out oil from the top of the tank rather from the bottom. The result is 1. The water left in the tank is much cleaner and easier to process in the bilge water separator. And two, the oil that is being pumped out is not water whipped. The free water content in the oil pumped out with Sludge Boy is very low, typically less than 5%. It is this mix of water and sludge oil that Sludge Boy is designed to work in and separate. Sludge Boy is an innovation patented by Sludge Boy Systems AB in Sweden. Generally, there is suction from the bottom of the tank. The problem is that at the bottom of the tank there is only water. In order to get hold of the oil, everything that is in the bottom of the tank has to be pumped up to a higher tank. This problem has now found its solution in the Sludge Boy. Sludge Boy makes it possible to directly pump out just the oil and leave the water inside the tank. There are mainly two different types of waste oil tank on board a ship. Double bottom tanks and high tanks. Sludge Boy can be installed in both types of tanks. In the high tank, no pump for evacuation of the sludge oil is necessary, whilst in the double bottom tank, a pump is necessary. Inside the tank, Sludge Boy will always stay at the immediate surface. Sludge Boy takes suction 15 to 20 millimeters from the top of the liquid layer. Thanks to the Cardan type fastening device, Sludge Boy will follow all motions of the ship and will always be at a 90 degree angle to the content inside the tank. Sludge Boy is easy to install. The installation is done by the ship's own crew or the tank is open anyway for normal inspection and cleaning. There is no special maintenance on Sludge Boy beyond cleaning it when regular tank cleaning is conducted. Ships using a Sludge Boy for landing sludge oil to shore facilities can be sure that they are landing just sludge oil and not water. There is no sense in landing water that can be treated on board with existing equipment. Traditionally, free-floating sludge oil in a high tank has also been skimmed off by means of different penetrations at different levels in the tank. These penetrations are small and very ineffective compared with a sludge boy. Depending on the diameter of the penetration, a sludge boy is 50 times more effective compared with a 1 inch penetration. It has been proven that no sludge oil separator is necessary in order to incinerate sludge oil that has been collected with the sludge boy. Since Sludge Boy is taking suction from the top of the tank, where the lightest oils are, the quality of oil will also be the best. The oil will not be water whipped and contains very little sediment. If your intention is to burn sludge oil on board the vessel, the Sludge Boy should be mandatory. There is always a sludge tank and a bilge water tank on board every vessel. Use your tank smarter instead of building space demanding tank solutions. By installing a sludge boy, you separate at the source exactly as the book tells us to do. Most ships have an environmental management system to meet the requirements from ISO 14001, which stresses continual improvement. Sludge boy is a perfect example how your ship has been innovative in separating out oil at its source. By doing this, less energy is wasted pumping around water and oil and more efficient running of bilge water separators is possible. The engine crew has succeeded in being better in their work and that is worth telling the auditors when the next environmental audit or report is due. On top of that, the vessel has saved money as well. In the designing of Sludge Boy, great care has been taken to keep down the number of components. The moving parts have been cut down to an absolute minimum in order to have a maintenance-free system. 
All metal parts are made of the highest quality of stainless steel to ensure quality and durability in very harsh environments. Laser cutting technologies are used in the manufacturing of the stainless steel parts. The plastic parts are designed to withstand all chemicals inside the tank together with the heat. If it is not possible to weld inside the tank, a special clamp is fitted without any welding inside the tank. Existing piping systems are recommended to be used as far as possible. The sludge boy is maximized for fitting into a manhole without any problems. The evacuation capacity of the sludge boy depends on the temperature of the oil inside the tank, together with the height of the receiving disc that the sludge boy is equipped with. If the temperature is about 50 degrees centigrade, a normal capacity is between 4 and 5 cubic meters per hour. Sludge Boy has, in a very short time, become very popular. Our customers have reached remarkable improvements in their sludge handling budgets. Reductions of up to 60% of landed quantities have been experienced. Hence the pure sludge oil is still landed, but the free water is left on board for further treatment in existing bilge water separators. In 2003, Sludge Boy was one of the main reasons for the Explorer of the Seas to be appointed to the Environmental Ship of the Year among 29 ships in the fleet, thanks to the installation of the Sludge Boy system. A lot of articles have been written about Sludge Boy over the years. We now have a lot of experience of different Sludge Boy installations all over the world. There is no better and more economical way to separate free oil from water than using the sludge boy. Work smarter and more efficiently. There is a lot of money to be saved in sludge oil and bilge water handling.